for days y'all i swear this no cap um i love this water bottle if you want a water bottle y'all go ahead and go in the description box below you want 10 percent off all you have to do is type in the promo code which is cashmere and you get 10 percent off so go ahead and get into it y'all so y'all i want to give a shout out to this girl i met her on snapchat and she asked me could she send me a onesie which i have on right now real cute real cute um she have different kind of onesies or whatever, but her Instagram name is kiss.my.candy. It's C-A-N-D-I-I. -I. I'm heavy in the video, you know what I'm saying, below. But shout out to you, honey. Thank you for sending me this onesie, this nice, comfortable onesie. If y'all want to get a onesie, go ahead and go to her Instagram and check her out. Uh, yeah, yeah, girl, and I appreciate you. So now, y'all, I got to shout out the person that um, commented on my last video. The first person that commented on my last video. So let me get into it. Thank you, Yuzo J. Yuzo J. I think that's how you say it. But thank you for being the first person on my last video to comment. I really appreciate you. Um, and shout out to all the new subscribers. Uh, I'm happy that you joined the cash crew. Y'all, it's going to be lit. We're going to buy 2020 no matter what it look like. Um, so, yeah, y'all. Y'all see that I'm doing story time and stuff. So, we're going to get into the video. And excuse me, y'all. My allergies are tripping like bad. I keep... Sniffing, I done blow my nose, I done took allergy medicine, <sighs> and I'm not feeling it today. But I had to do this video, y'all. So, um, just wanted to do a little story time on how I like came to the realization that I didn't have arms, what age, what happened, or whatever, whatever. So we're gonna get into it. <clears throat> oh, y'all, these allergies, y'all gotta bear with me today. Got my little tissue. I got my little, my little water. Let me go with my water because I'm thirsty. Y'all, I don't know what it is. It's hot in here. Daddy, you hot? No. Oh, maybe it's just me sitting in front of these lights. Water be so good and cold. Okay, but we're about to get into it. So, um, y'all, I don't remember exactly the age because I'll be lying if I did. Ugh, I'm not going on right now. Um, so yeah, I don't remember exactly the age, but I do remember I was in elementary. I'll say. Hmm. I'll say maybe I was in first, second grade, maybe. Yeah, I think I was in like first, second grade. I was in first, second grade, and um, well, I like since I was born without having my arms, I kind of just like grew into like okay, I don't have arms, right? But someone like people started like pointing out and i started to notice like dang am i the only girl or like person in this whole wide world that don't have arms because how i felt at the time i was young you know what i'm saying i didn't know so i was like i'm the only girl that don't have arms and people at school was kind of like pointing it out oh there go the air right there because it's hot um but yeah people was like pointing it out at school and I was like looking at other people and I was like, okay, I am different from other people. I don't have arms. And I was in first, second grade and I was like, uh, 
why do I don't have arms? And I remember y'all going home. I remember going home and going into the mirror and I was looking at myself like, okay, I don't have arms. Like, I don't have arms at all. So I'm like, and I started crying, y'all. I started crying like so, so hard. And um, I don't know what it was. I guess like somebody said something to me at school or something. And it was just like, dang. And so <laughs> I was young, remind y'all I was young. I was like, um, like asking God, I remember asking God, y'all, in the mirror, I was like, Lord, why am I the only person in this world that don't have arms? Y'all, I swear, I thought I was the only person in this world that didn't have arms. So I was like, Lord God, like, why did you make me like this? Like, why I don't have arms? And everybody else has arms. And I was like naming people I didn't like at school. And I was like, why you couldn't make them not have arms? And why you couldn't give me arms? I remember this, y'all. Like, it was so crazy. And my mom, um, me and my mom was talking earlier, and I was like, I think I should talk about, like, the, the day I noticed, like, okay, I don't have arms. And she was like, yeah, like, I haven't really ever heard this story either, because I'm real, like, um, I'm emotional, but, like, I don't like being really emotional in front of people. So when I did, um, my mama, I know she heard me crying when I was in the restroom or whatever. And um, she was asking me, like, what's wrong? But I didn't tell her exactly. I was just like, you know, I don't have arms. But I didn't tell her, like, oh, people was talking about me or something at school and stuff like that. Like, I didn't even mention that. But that's what was really going on. Like, the people at school was kind of, like, pointing out, pointing out, like, okay, you don't have arms. And I'm like, dang, I don't have arms. And I'm, like, looking at everybody, like, Is there, do everybody have arms except for me? You know? So it was kind of, like confusing and I just remember going home and I was crying y'all so bad in the restroom by myself I was in first second grade and I was just crying and I was like Lord God why did you make me like this I really was asking God like why like cuz I didn't understand I was young and so um as time progressed I think ever since that day I was in the mirror looking at myself like okay you don't have forms that's when I started to become insecure because but like for, before then y'all like I wasn't worried I don't care like I didn't have arms because I was so young you know like and people like I still had like friends and stuff at school but like I didn't like notice notice I didn't have arms until I started to grow up and people was like pointing out so um so what happened so then so yeah that was really like the first day I was just like wow i don't have arms and i'm real different and then i started going like a couple years later i started going to this summer camp and this summer camp i would go there every summer and that's when i like started to see people that didn't have arms or didn't have legs and stuff like that and i was like oh okay maybe i'm not the only person in this world that don't have arms or you know or whatever and when i went to this camp y'all it's called Scottish Rite Hospital. Well, that's the hospital for all the people that don't have arms or legs or scoliosis and stuff like that. It's in Dallas. Um, but the Out on the Limb camp, it just like exposed me to people that were just like me. And it was interesting. It was fun. I seen people, y'all, that didn't have arms and or it did have arms and legs it still was swimming we was all swimming together we would do horseback riding we would do zip lining um zip lining what else did we do we did scuba diving it was just like different stuff and so um when I met, you know, other people in this world that was like, let me have arms and stuff. And now I know a lot of people that don't have arms and legs and stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not the only one. <laughs> but um, it took me a while to just be like, Whew, okay, I don't have arms. Because it's not like something you could go fix. Like your stomach or your butt or your nose or your cheeks. This was like something that I knew wasn't going to grow. And so it took me a while to just be like, okay, I don't have arms and I'm okay with that. But ever since that day, y'all, I came home from school and I was crying in the restroom. And I was looking at myself and I was asking God, like, why you made me like this? 
that's when everything started and everything hit the fan and as time progressed and time as time moved on or whatever I know why God made me like this he made me like this to do what I'm doing now to share my testimony to share my story um because this is nobody but God like nobody taught me how to write Nobody taught me how to just do things with my feet. It just came as a gift. So I know this was nobody but God. At first, I was questioning him, like, what did you do to me? But I'm excited and I'm happy. I am comfortable in my own skin. I'm glad I don't have arms, because baby, I like to stand out. <laughs> I don't want to be looking like everybody else. So I'm cool with what I look like. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that was, um, the day I finally figured out I didn't have arms. So I was like, I don't know. I don't even know how old I was, to be honest. I just know I was probably first, second grade. That's all I remember. And so, um, so yeah, y'all, that's my story. It wasn't too, too long. I have another story to tell y'all um, about just like a couple of things, a couple of challenges that I went through in my childhood with me not having arms. But this is just one of the stories, y'all. But, yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this story. It was just a little short little story of how and when I realized I didn't have arms. And it took me a while, you know, to get this confident and stuff like that. But I'm just excited about where God is taking me. Like, and that's on period. So, so yeah, y'all. That's the story. I also do want to tell y'all too, um, that merch, the merch, the merch, the merch. We're going to be doing pre-orders this week. So y'all be looking out for that. I will let y'all know. But, um, yeah, y'all, I love y'all cash crew. I hope y'all like this story. Um, I hope it kind of maybe like touched y'all a little bit because some things, um, we don't understand why God do it and what he do it for but i'm telling y'all he makes no mistakes he know what he's doing baby he know from the beginning to the end so just trust his process trust what he's doing and yeah that's just it and i love y'all cash crew get into this water bottle and this onesie and i will see y'all in the next video bye y'all